Baseball, America's national pastime, a sport enjoyed by millions during spring and summer since the 1800s. From T-ball through intermediate little league, from beginners learning to hold a bat all the way through the power hitters in the senior league, American kids have grown up swinging a bat. Children of all ages spend countless hours pitching curveballs and sliders, fielding fly balls, and working the leather on their favorite baseball glove until it fit their hand just right. Every fall, the country tunes in for the grand finale of the baseball season, the World Series, the big show. This fall, America was especially captivated as the World Series played out, and one amazing player reminded us all of the power of grit. Steve Pierce of the Boston Red Sox has lived out the meaning of grit in his baseball career. Pierce grew up right here in Lakeland, Florida, enjoying Little League and Intermediate League. He has great memories of playing baseball in his backyard with his brothers Chad and Kyle. They always imagined that they were on their favorite baseball team, the Boston Red Sox. Pierce played extremely well in high school and in college, until finally joining the Major League in 2007. He built a solid reputation as a strong team player who could fit in anywhere. He became only the second player to wear every uniform for the American League East, until finally wearing the jersey that he always dreamed of. And his childhood dreams came true as he was awarded the MVP recognition after two home runs in the final game of the series. The Merriam-Webster Dictionary defines grit as firmness of character and dominable spirit. This is Steve Pierce, a great example of grit and determination. Thank you for coming on. No problem, man. Thanks for having me, bud. Growing up here in Lakeland, was it your dream to play baseball? It sure was. Um, you know, as a little kid, that's just something that I've always wanted to do and, and um, you know, got to play every single level, uh, all the way up through high school into college and, and all throughout the minor league. So it's been a fun ride and, and I'm living up my dream. What did it take to achieve those dreams? Uh, a lot of sacrifice. Uh, determination, grit. In a day and age where it is easy to be disappointed by the example that public figures set, I'm so glad I got to meet a true heavy hitter and a real hero. Thank you, Steve Pierce. Ah, uh, just want to do some pencil. I have one. Is a smitzel okay? Yeah. Is a smencil okay? Is a gold scar in Fortnite okay? Is a brownie party for turning in box tops okay? Are straight A's okay? Is a shooting star okay? Are puppies okay? Who wouldn't want a pencil that smells like your favorite things? And only for one dollar? That's amazing! Smencils aren't just okay. They're okay! Get your smencils now in. Right, fresh. Hi, my name is Grayson. Golf is an amazing sport played around the world by men and women of all ages. Today, I'm going to talk to you about the basics of golf. Now. You can spend a lifetime mastering the game of golf, but you can start having fun in under a day. Let's start by looking at the basic equipment. You have your ball, your tee, and of course, your clubs to hit the ball. There are three categories that your clubs fall into. First, you have your woods. Woods are used for long range shots. You usually use your woods when you're on the tee box. An example of a wood is a driver. Your second category is your irons. You use your irons for medium range shots, which are usually on the fairway. An example of an iron is a 7 iron. And finally, you have your putter, which is used for tapping the ball in the hole on the green. To get you started as quickly as possible, I'm going to talk to you about the mechanics of the swing. An exercise to help you do this is called 1, 2, 3. 1. Address the ball. Have your knees bent, club behind the ball, and ready to hit. 2. Bring the club back and three, hit the ball and follow through. And do it again and again and again until you have it just right. One, two, three. Make sure you keep practicing. It takes lots of grit and perseverance. I learned that pro golfers can hit around 500 golf balls a day. 
That must take a lot of grit and perseverance. But if you love playing the sport and you want to be good at it, it's worth it. And I guess that's true for anything you want to be good at, whether it's sports, hobbies, or school. You always have to have grit and perseverance to achieve any goal. So if you go out on the golf course today, maybe you'll see me there practicing. You know, Grayson, sometimes books I want to check out are already checked out from our school library. Me too. That's why the Lakeland Public Library is awesome too. It's more than just a place to check out books. The Lakeland Public Library was founded by the Women's Club of Lakeland. It first opened its doors in 1927. That's 92 years ago. At that time, it had around 5,000 books and other important documents recording the history of our town. Since then, it is a center for reading and researching in our community. The librarians are available to help you with research questions or to find a specific book. The library hosts Children's Story Hour, has up-to-date technology available for research, offers a packed calendar of classes and activities, a coffee shop, and free Wi-Fi. With all these activities, wouldn't you want to go to the Lakeland Public Library? You know, I have another neat community outreach. It's called Arise to Read. Mrs. Beardsley told me all about the community volunteers that help students gain confidence with their reading. This is Miss Beardsley, our reading coach. I have a few questions with her about Arise to Read today. First, how many students are a part of this program? We have 30 second grade students, 18 first graders, and we are reaching into our kindergarten classrooms as well. Our volunteers are coming in to read with our kindergartners. What benefits have you seen toward this program? Okay, well our first year we had some two students actually that received Most Improved Reader Award for their classroom at the end of the year award celebration, so we were thrilled with that. 